Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Taurus. How's everyone doing? Well, I hope. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. The overall energy surrounding Taurus in their love life. What does Taurus need to know? There we are, the honoring path. Ooh, you have somebody with some positive intentions. Make sure they do. I feel as though either seven, to me a seven is always trying to figuring things out. It's to figuring out how to move forward. Uh, it's overcoming a lot of obstacles. It's a lot of food for thought, but you have to make sure this is that making sure someone is coming towards you in an honorable way. Okay, so definitely there, and it could be somebody here who's headed in your direction. They're trying to figure out how to express their intentions. They are hoping to have success, possibly. Taurus. There's too many cards. Taurus. Overall energy surrounding Taurus. Oh, the loving woman, yeah. You've got someone who wants your attention. You're definitely sitting here. <laughs> it's like, come and get me. Yeah, you're being very strong. Your energy is very strong, very brave. You're trying to be courageous. But I feel like you have a person who's gaining that strength and courage to come towards you. Their intentions are trying to... You're going to be trying to figure out their intentions. You want love. I can see that. Okay, Taurus, beautiful. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. But we do have a loving man and a loving woman in this deck as well so uh, but take it as it resonates for you it's all about the intentions the courage the energy somebody being very brave and strong you know moving into that light somebody's about to take that step forward to start something here and it could be yourself you know loving yourself first moving away from someone you felt was just coming in for attentions you know it could be that too taurus does Taurus need to know what's coming in, what's going out, what's changing in the love lives of the Taurus viewers, clear messages and guidance for Taurus. Taurus, does Taurus need to know, clear messages for Taurus. Uh, you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, definitely some Sag energy. Uh, Gemini energy. Ooh, two of cups and five of cups. Yeah, so I feel as though you have someone here. Ooh, you've got a choice possibly between several people. You have people coming towards you that looking for attention and you want love. You want reciprocity. Maybe you're starting to feel like there's no hope, but I feel like you have someone who's coming in to take the lead. Now, I'm seeing the fire, air, and water energy. Taurus, Taurus, what is happening? I see a choice in love here for sure. Somebody is definitely um, ready to take the lead here. They're kind of sitting there making a decision. They might feel like it's kind of hopeless. Yeah, look, someone sees you as this Empress energy. Yes, yeah, so they feel like there's no hope. Someone has some regrets and remorse maybe for... You know, the, they didn't tell you what their intentions were. Maybe you moved away. It took a lot of energy. It was very hard for you to maybe turn your back on this person. Uh, maybe you felt they weren't seeing your worth or value. Maybe this person, you thought they had somebody else. They were getting attention from other people. Okay, so that's where, that's where you learn to love yourself first. Yeah, so we have the chariot and we have the fool. So yeah, I feel as though you definitely... <sighs> took off in another direction you're loving yourself first and i feel someone here has some regrets for not um valuing you for not telling you what their intentions were and i feel this person has a bit of an ego they're very focused on that passionate energy focused on themselves and i feel they're about to make a decision yeah you took off in another direction and I feel it took a lot of power. You have this is you taking your power back, Taurus. Okay, and loving yourself first, holding yourself in high regard, focusing on your uh, your abundance, your career. It's a healing energy. Yeah, you're you're very powerful and strong right now with this energy. Look at that. You want love. Somebody wants to come towards you. They want to try to come in and take this. You have someone here, I feel they were trying to control their emotions. They were trying to control things and they lost control because of it, because you took your power back. See, this is someone who you felt didn't have honorable intentions, that they may have had other people. So I feel as though you kind of moved on. You're reflecting on something here and I feel like you got this person. They could be an Aries. They may be coming in to take a leap of faith. Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, 
Um, really could be anyone. Taurus, Libra energy, and Gemini I see very strong. So this person's reflecting on something. Yeah, they have some remorse and regret. Uh, maybe they didn't want to take a leap of faith, a risk, because I feel they were focused on themselves, their career, their finances, maybe even other people. Maybe this is someone who's used to getting what they want. They're used to getting a lot of attention, and you aren't having it. <laughs> All right, Taurus, good for you. That Empress energy, you know your worth, you know your value. Yeah, so this person's definitely headed in your direction. I see the Five of Swords. Yeah, there's a little trust issues. This person wants to talk to you about something. Uh, they may have not trusted you or they didn't trust themselves. It all depends, but they're reflecting on this. They're taking that leap of faith. You're not going to take a risk with this person, not until you kind of reflect. You want to be very careful. You may have taken a leap of faith towards this person in the past, and I see some um, Five of Swords, uh, some trust issues, maybe some mind games, okay, where you felt this person was you know, playing mental games. But there is this, definitely there is a connection here. There's no doubt that the connection was made. Uh, very physical. Uh, but I feel as though, like, you want this m mental and emotional connection. You don't want somebody who comes towards you with only when they want your attention. You want someone who gives you attention. You don't want someone who has, you know, they're not focused on you. And that's why you're right in the middle. So lovely. Good for you. You know your worth. King of Wands. Yeah, so you've got somebody here. You may have rejected this person, okay? But I feel as though this person, they feel like they missed an opportunity, okay? Um, yeah, and I think it's because they needed to make a decision. They were focused on themselves. And I feel this person, yeah, and they may have come towards you. You may have rejected this person because you felt they were coming in wanting attention. Okay, there's something here that might not have been good enough. It, maybe it was the way they were focused on you, the way they were communicating with you. We have the lovers. You're definitely going to let go. of. If you've got several people coming towards you, I do feel you're going to let somebody go. Okay, you definitely are going to set yourself free from someone. There's someone here. You may have a lot of people around you, in fact, with this energy. And you're, you're getting a lot of attention because you're in this empress energy. And you're not liking it. Okay, so you're, there's obviously some offers around you that just aren't good enough. It's not what you want. They're, they're just not the right fit. Okay, or they're just, they're just not, they're, they're offering you the wrong thing in the wrong way. So we have the lovers. Yeah, so yeah, there's that regret, that remorse. So somebody here definitely has some kind of regrets. And I mean, maybe you have some regrets for rejecting somebody. Uh, but there is some, yeah, someone here regrets maybe playing some mind games. Maybe they rejected you, trying to get you to chase them. Ah, I see what's happening. They regret doing that now. They were playing little games, trying to get you to chase them. But instead, they got, yeah, they, it looks like they may have rejected you. They wanted you to focus on them. And whatever it is, it backfired. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't investing in it. Yeah, I feel it's like you just sort of looked at that and you're like, yeah, no thanks, but no thanks. I think this person was trying to get you to um, chase them. I see that this person's intentions. I think whatever it is, they regret it. They did something here. They played a little mind game. Um, and in turn, they got rejected or they rejected you and you just took off in another. Because you love yourself first. You're loving yourself first. It's like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, see, you want someone stable. You want someone who builds a foundation. You're, you want a commitment. So I feel this person's looking at that. And I feel as though they're waiting for the right time to come and talk to you. They definitely have regrets. You both may have a few regrets. Like um, maybe... You weren't being patient enough with this person. Maybe you just rejected them and you should have been a little more patient. But feel like they were focused on you. Like this is someone who's focused on that physical energy, focused on themselves. They like to be in control. They get a lot of attention. I feel like you got someone here with a bit of an ego who wanted you to chase them. And you, the Empress does not chase. It's right in the middle. So five of cups. Why is this here? Yeah, you want a commitment. You want someone who's committed to you, who shares uh, someone on the same page. Definitely. Five of Cups. There we go. 
Yeah, so it's a be careful what they wish for. See, this person offered one cup and nothing more. They regret not recognizing this connection. I mean, it could be you, but this is where you know what you want, right? And you know what you want. You want your wish come true. And I feel as though this person kind of blew it, okay? They might have even been a little smug, a little arrogant about it, and they definitely regret it because you've turned your back. You've taken off. You took your power back from this person. Oh, yeah, you took off in another direction here. Yeah, they find you very physically appealing yes they do uh, but you're going off to have a passion and new beginning with someone else and I feel as though yeah they offered one cup nothing more and it wasn't good enough so yeah you just you know what this person was up to you've probably felt a little bit manipulated here I feel they were trying to get you to chase them and I think you figured this person out <laughs> yeah Yes, you have. Tell me about the chariot. If you haven't, you will. Yeah, so I feel you definitely took all your passion and energy elsewhere. And I feel this person's coming back, though. I feel they're coming back around. I feel they have a lot of regrets, remorse for offering one cup, for acting the way they did. Okay? And because they didn't get what they wanted because of it. Okay? So you're kind of like... I, I, I get this energy of like, well, that's what you get. Sorry, but, you know, you're moving on. You're taking off. You're talking to other people. Now, this is what this person's a little concerned, that you're getting attention from other people. They see you as a very loving person, okay, very nurturing and very caring. But you're not offering up your cup of love to anybody who doesn't uh, treat you properly. You don't want mind games. You don't want someone who wants to be in control, uh, you're just it's not going to work for you at all i can see it so tell me about the fool why is the fool here ah so yeah somebody here i feel yeah we got a taurus energy so this is about learning okay this is about uh faith you may not have had any faith with this person I feel this is somebody who didn't want to take a risk. Maybe they didn't have faith in this connection. But I feel like you're worried this person wasn't faithful. That is what I feel. That they get a ten in their intentions is for you to honor them. This is somebody who wants you to indulge them. And they regret this. They definitely do. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy, did you take your power back. And I feel here with this, too. This is someone, if this person comes back around and they act exactly like they did before, you certainly aren't going to take a leap of faith. Faith. But I feel this person's learned something from this process. They want to talk to you. It could be a, a major apology for being manipulative and playing a little game. They may admit it. They may not. They have one foot in the door and out. But it could be that this person didn't have a lot of faith in themselves. They were afraid to take that risk, that leap of faith towards that committed energy. But I feel mostly this is about... you. It's like you just know this person's not faithful. There's something you don't, you didn't like this energy. I can see it. Uh, you're looking out for yourself for number one. They definitely see you as the empress, though. Let me tell you, it's, it, I, I feel this person, what they basically did is created a trust issue. I feel like they didn't trust themselves, didn't trust the situation. Um, you definitely have trust issues. You definitely are not going for uh, mind games. If this person is trying to gain that confidence to come forward, I feel like they weren't confident that this, or you weren't confident this person was going to be a faithful person because of the way they were acting. So I feel like in turn you just took off. Uh, and that's, I feel, is where you're at right now. Yeah, this person's about to come in. Ooh suddenly this person they're having an epiphany i feel as though you probably uh if this person comes back in and they act like they did before you will not take a leap of faith you're going to reflect on the past and more than likely if they have past behavior they haven't learned right it, it's going to be over before it goes anywhere i don't think you trust him this person knows it too okay they know with this mars energy taurus a little aries energy maybe some scorpio somebody may have some scorpio but i think they're about to come in Ooh, let's see what happens here with the five of swords why is this here yeah, so there is definitely, yeah, so there's definitely someone here who's very jealous because they feel like you've moved on, you're talking to other people. See, because they see, when someone sees you as the Empress, they know other people will see you that way as well. Uh, very attractive, right? But you are looking out for number one. Just continue on that path. So I feel as though you're not really trusting this person. You feel like they have other options. Uh, this person's about to make a decision. 
Yeah, they made a bad decision here. And uh, look at that Capricorn. They could have Capricorn in their chart. Someone does. I feel like this person's jealous. I feel they're having this epiphany. I feel they're kind of obsessed with this situation. Uh, I feel this person definitely it's something unhealthy here. Yeah, we'll see where this goes. Now, the devil is someone who could be obsessed with just making the decision, right, to do with the trust. Uh, this is someone who kind of gets up in their head. They they play kind of mind games. It's an unhealthy habit, unhealthy tradition. It's the way they conduct themselves. And I feel like whatever this is, that they're, I think this person knows their faults here. Uh, I think they know. They they got a choice to make here, and they're they, they, you know they're very much up in their head, and there's something that they need to learn about the way they conducted themselves here, uh, their values. Uh, there's something moral, like you're not you just don't have faith that this person is faithful. That's what I feel. Uh, they created more trust. I feel than than uh, they created a problem. In other words, by playing a game, trying to get you to chase them. This person's used to being chased. They're used to being indulged. And, you know, they didn't get what they wanted because of it. And now they have regrets. So you're in that. Be careful what you wish for. If this person comes towards you, I see a lot of talk, communication. Uh, they definitely don't want you taking your passion and energy towards anyone else. Because they, they see you as this loving woman. You, They know you want love. They know you're worthy of it as well. So tell me about this honoring path. Yeah, so look at that. Yeah, so there's that. See, this is somebody who wants that attention. They want that physical attention. Uh, so I feel as though you're getting attention from other people. I can see an Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, possible Taurus, Capricorn. I see uh, possible Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and then, of course, this Gemini energy. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but I feel, yeah, you're getting attention from other people. And I think this person is uh, trying to figure out how to come towards you. They want to take this leap of faith. I don't know if you feel, if you're going to go for it, though. Like, I, I, I feel like you'll hear what they have to say. You're going to talk to this person. I feel like they want to talk to you. They want to get together. They want to try to find a way to kind of get things under control here. And uh, but because of it, they lost control before. So I see this person coming in to talk. So yeah, they see you as very intuitive. Yeah, they're thinking a lot about you. They this person's definitely has some kind of strategy, some kind of plan. Uh, there's something here they're keeping to themselves. They're this person's thinking a lot about you. I think they're pretty obsessed. Uh, they are definitely. They know everything they need to know. This person knows everything they need to know. They know you're loving, you're nurturing, you're caring. I feel like it was a strategy. They kind of were keeping things to themselves. They've kind of gone within, you know, right? They're, they're, this person's seeing themselves through you, through what you moving on, okay? Taking your passion elsewhere. You may have even told this person, I'm out of here. I'm going to go out and meet new people. Whatever it is, this communication. But they're coming in. They're, see, they, this person blew it. They, they strategized something here, and they're learning something. They're going within themselves. They're seeing this, uh, and they know that you see you know, they know that you know what's what happened, okay? <laughs> Put it that way, that you've kind of, you figured them out, that it was a game to try to get you to chase them. So, yeah, see, they're coming out of this energy. So I feel they want to come and talk to you. Um, they're, they're, they're taking something they've learned from this experience and from you by loving yourself first. You see, they've learned something from you and about themselves from within. They know everything they know they need to know about you because they see you as the empress and the loving woman. Okay, whether you're a man or a woman, just flip that energy if you must. So I'm just reading them the way they're coming out. So we have this six of swords, this person coming towards you, taking what they learned. And it has to do with faith, trust, the way they conduct themselves. You wouldn't take a leap of faith towards this person because you couldn't trust them, okay, because they were playing games. And now this they, they're having a major epiphany. Expect this person to come in suddenly. And I'll tell you, this decision and this choice was toxic. It was unhealthy. They made a really, really bad choice. They're aware uh, that you aren't going to trust them too, okay. So whew, they looks like a Capricorn. So Taurus, yeah, you this part they see you as a faithful person though. This is the interesting thing. Like this is they see you as somebody 
um, you know, is ready for something new. You want a commitment and they know that you will get one, okay? This person sees your value. So I feel as though they have to make this choice. They have to come towards you. They need to set themselves free from their ego, okay? Mm-hmm. Tell me about courage. You're trying to gain that strength, that confidence, and that courage uh, to look at this. Yeah, see, there, there's that strength energy. This person needs to tame the beast within themselves. They need to find the strength and courage. And I feel like this person, like, if they come towards you again and you feel like they're going to act like they did before, you definitely are going to see that devil energy. Okay, Taurus. Yeah, some of you, they are another Taurus. Some of you, I see some Leo energy, some Gemini uh, pretty much all the signs but you definitely uh, want a new beginning and uh, this person finds you very very attractive but that's the thing that's what they were focused on uh, and they offered you something and you're like no thanks so it may have been a one night stand or just their approach the way they communicated so I feel as though you're being very strong and brave, but I'll tell you, this person needs to tame that beast within themselves, and that's what they're learning. And they're going to take what they learn to come towards you. So I don't know if you can have faith in this person. It all depends. If, like, I don't see you taking a leap into this until you're sure they're faithful. Like, you know, okay? So it's saying to be strong and brave. I do feel there's some kind of love and bond here. Like, there's something uh, between the two of you for sure. I feel this person, maybe they weren't sure that you had feelings for them. Because uh, I don't see a whole lot of cups being offered here. Like one little cup, someone keeping everything to themselves and they regret it. Somebody was kind of selfish. Okay, they weren't really offering a whole lot. And that's where that be careful what you wish for energy comes. But because they reacted that way, they didn't get what they wanted. And they've learned from that. They realize what they did. So... Tell me about this Four of Wands with this Two of Cups. Yeah, that's two people who connect on an emotional, physical and emotional level. Um, maybe you just want to be friends first with this person. Maybe they were looking at just friends with benefits. I don't know. Uh, but you're not interested in that kind of attention because you have other people. I feel like they see other people they're, or they're thinking that there's other people that are going to come towards you. So they know they need to learn from this. They're strategizing a communication. This is someone who's... You know, they can be a little cruel at times, a little heartless, and I'm not so sure they mean to be, they just do. That's their action, and they need to move away from this energy. So, yeah, there's definitely something here. This person is definitely remnant. I think you have a choice between two people. I think you're moving away from one. You may have someone who has children, okay? who's coming towards you that's reminiscing, thinking of reconciling with you. This person may be someone who also gets a lot of attention. I, I kind of feel as though you got these people around you that come in with the wrong energy, Taurus. Just be strong and just be brave, okay? That's what I say. Just keep up that strength. Tame that beast within yourself to take a leap of faith towards someone. If you're not sure they're faithful or they come back and act the way they always do, their tradition, their habit, their belief... Okay, like it's like you just don't have faith in them, whoever they are. Yes, cards flying everywhere. Tell me about this lover's card. Let's see what's going on. I see you getting attention from a few people or a few people want your attention uh, or you have a couple people around you that uh, you find attractive, they find you attractive, but they get attention from others. And that could be something that just seems toxic like you don't want someone who has other options you don't want these unhealthy situations you're there's just a lack of trust here Taurus tell me about the lovers why is this here yeah so there is definitely yeah so you are waiting for the one you're keeping your options open yeah you're looking elsewhere you want teamwork cooperation compromise I do feel like I mean this could be somebody who's waiting for you to reach out uh, they may want to team up with you, but you want somebody compatible. There's definitely a physical compatibility here with one person. Um, there's someone here who may have children that may be thinking of commitment. Maybe you're just friends right now. If you got someone who's a friend right now that's thinking of taking this to another level as well, because I'm seeing that right up here. But this is someone who gets attention from other people too. Like they're obviously very attractive, but... Because it's in the middle. You, there is a lot of physical attraction. 
Um, but you're being very careful what you wish for because of this energy. So it looks like you've got somebody here who could be a friend. Maybe your children play together, you visit each other. Uh, I see something to do with a foundation, some kind of history. Uh, this person may have done sweet things for you. Maybe they fix things in your home and do things to show you that they, they like you. Okay, so that could be somebody that's right here. Uh, that you're not sure what their intentions are, okay? You're you're maybe trying to figure out what their intentions are. You may see this person as the one, someone very attractive, but you're kind of looking out there. You're kind of waiting to see how things go with this person. This person, I mean, this could be this Gemini person. This person knows a lot about you. They know you're loving and nurturing and caring because you probably did sweet things for them before. But I feel like you're just friends with one person here. And I feel like if you have somebody else coming around, you may want to just be friends with them to sort of see how it goes as well. So interesting enough, Taurus, you got a lot going on. So it's more like behind the scenes than actually what's happening okay uh, it's there and i feel like there's going to be some kind of communication and movement somebody wants to come and see you and i feel like there's someone who's going to try to take control and uh, just sort of come in very suddenly and communicate so tell me about this communication for taurus what is this communication yeah so there's someone here who definitely yeah you've got a Someone who's kind of held back, they hold back something in the communication. They want to talk to you. They want to uh, maybe clear things up. They're trying to shine a light on something. But you see, they're getting that clarity. So someone's either communicated with you or they're going to, and they're going to look at, keep looking at that communication and sort of think about it to try and find that clarity till they find out everything they need to know to come towards you. They're could be someone fishing for information, maybe trying to find out, right, if you're in any kind of a commitment of any sort, too. Wow, interesting. Lots of scenarios for all the different Taurus people right now. Tell me about this tower. See, this is someone who wants to come in. They know they need to come in and take this action to share that cup. But the night of cups is someone very romantic okay they come in for that romance but they don't stick around they kind of come in through the front door and they're out through that back door right so that's that tower tell me about this tower why is this here for taurus yeah you're having i think this is you having an epiphany about this person you're not so sure you trust them you're not so sure you're going to take a leap of faith i do think you're reflecting you took a leap of faith maybe with one of these people before someone's definitely in friend zone you're maybe just friends now like that one feels kind of okay like uh, this person wants to like they want to have that physical connection maybe they're waiting to hear from you uh, right for things to build there's definitely some compatibility no doubt there tell me about the tower one on the tower there we go thank you yeah so you've got somebody here who's sort of in hang mad mode going within there's some pisces you may have a pisces person or they have that in their chart or it's just their approach kind of looking at things from every angle there's someone's trying to wants to approach you they're trying to figure out how they're having an epiphany i think someone knows you have other options and they're jealous they're trying to tame that beast within they're trying to gain that courage to come in and approach you yeah, so because I feel like you have other people, this person may be aware, but I feel you had someone who played a little game with you and they've missed an opportunity because of it. And they're looking at that. Okay, you aren't investing in someone like that. Whatever it was, you weren't going to invest. You didn't trust it. And uh, this person has some regrets. I mean, maybe you have some regrets with something or somebody in the past. I feel like there's two people and there's just trust issues. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Yeah not so sure you want to invest in someone yeah so some of you i don't know i feel like you're just you're sort of being patient with someone uh, you're starting to have trust issues i feel as though you're going off to meet other people there is someone who travels in your social circle they're in your community someone's waiting maybe to run into you or somebody is wondering if you're invested in anyone if you're online dating or dating anyone else yeah there's just it's it's all about the questions and learning while they gather this information uh, to come and talk to you but you want to be cautious of this person trust your intuition okay because they may be holding something back and that may be where you get that point where you're not so sure you can have faith in this you're not so sure about a new beginning 
they know it. Somebody knows that you know, all right? They played a little mind game, try to get you to chase them, and you didn't go for it. I see sort of some friends. I'm hoping someone here that someone may have children or um, you may know each other. There's some kind of history here of uh, sweet friends helping each other out, helping each other with your homes or looking after each other's children. It could be a lot of scenarios. This is the one I feel there's really only any real hope with but this other person their energy's here it's big and they are jealous the thought that you may have other people you may have other options they need to make a choice they made a bad they made an unhealthy decision here uh in the past so yeah this is someone who possibly manipulated so someone's trying to manifest this new beginning okay with you and they're trying to gain that strength and confidence they actually have all the tools they need Okay, but I feel like you got, I see a Capricorn and possibly a Gemini. Some of you may be even a Virgo. All right, Taurus, that's Matt. You may have had a few people who've manipulated you. And you're kind of reflecting on all this before you move towards someone. You're being, yeah, you're not so sure you see a future. Uh, you're looking out for yourself. You're being very strong here. Yeah, you, wow. It looks like you've got a history with people who kind of behave that way of manipulation, but you've got this. You've learned something from this, okay? You're being very wise. You, you've you learned something huge, and I feel like anytime someone approaches you, you're going to have this energy now to make sure you know what their intentions are, but I feel like this person up here has pretty good intentions, and I it, they could be a friend. You're Like I said, your children may play together. Uh, they definitely are... Um, thinking about love but it's also a very physical connection they may be someone who's just maybe going to wait for that opportunity to come in and do something for this to build to see where it goes and uh this is two people building up a foundation together very interesting yeah there's something that needs to be purged and released here um so i feel like there's a situation that you feel is just out of reach maybe someone feels like you're out of their league because you are in that empress energy but this is about letting go and I feel like you're letting go of something. Yeah, there's a cycle that's ending. Yeah, you've been focusing on your work and your abundance. That's going really well. Okay, some of you actually could be leaving a job. This could, some of this energy could be job related as well, where you're just kind of moving away and moving towards something else. But I see things going in your favor. I think you have someone who's coming into work. Uh, put some effort in, okay? And you won't see a future with someone who doesn't put effort in. You'll continue doing your own thing. You're very strong, yeah? You've got a new, someone coming in to express themselves, a new beginning, and that's what you're focused on. There's a Leo. you got someone with Leo in their chart. I feel like it's this person up here. I don't know why, but you have this other person's energy, uh, but it could be them as well. I see definitely air sign and earth sign energies here. Tell me about this sun. Whoops. Tell me about the sun. There we go. Yeah, so there you go. You have someone here who's ready for love. Yeah, you've got... I, I feel as though you're turning your back on people who manipulate. I feel like you're manifesting love. You want that king of cups, and I feel like you have a new person. So whatever all this is that you're reflecting on, Spirit's telling you there's something that needs to be learned. Okay, something you're going to learn. It's the school of higher learning, the school of hard knocks. You may have taken leaps of faith and risks in the past that you're not going to take anymore. You're going to look at things from a different angle. But I do see a date. I see somebody here uh, coming towards you, approaching you. They know if they don't approach you in the right way, it'll, it, it, that's it. It's over. Yeah, it's like their last chance, their last opportunity. So it could be any one of these people. It all depends who you have around you. But I see someone here. Just watch that person. Could be friends with benefits. Wait to see how things go. Definitely keep your options open. Don't uh, leap into any kind of a commitment right away with somebody, okay? Just, like, don't leap into it and just commit yourself. Like, look into the future. Do you see yourself with this person? Is there a strong connection? Okay, tame that beast within yourself to start planning a future with someone before you even really learn everything you need. And that's what the biggest message is. So you have a new person coming in offering love or somebody coming in to express their love because they want to start something. They're becoming very clear. So I feel it's definitely Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And of course, we have this King of Wands. And that could be just an energy of somebody who was very focused on themselves. They wanted you to 
focus on them and chase them. So it could be that where you, and then you kind of went, no, sorry, I'm not really investing in that. So uh, you, I like, yeah, you're gone off to meet other people. I think you got to, some of you might even have as many as three people uh, that are in your energy, but nothing's really happening until all this takes place. And that is that intuitive energy. So I do see a strong, somebody with some Pisces energy. They may not be a Pisces, but they may have uh, Pisces moon rising Venus or something like that. This person's definitely knows they need to approach you in the right way. They need to express their feelings and emotions. They need to offer up that, uh, that cup of love. So lovely, yeah. See, there is a sense of loss. See, somebody here is still anchored to this sense of loss. See, somebody lost you. They felt they missed an opportunity because I feel like they, you either rejected them or they rejected you to try to get you to chase them. And you didn't bite. You didn't go for it. So, yes. And then you have this other person who's just here reminiscing. This, whether they have children or there's just some sweet memories to do with home, family, a foundation. I think it's friends. Somebody's crushing on you. Um, and I do feel you know this person. I do feel there's something there. So I see you starting to get a lot of, uh, maybe this person here that's coming in sees you getting all this attention and they're like, oh no, I got to hurry up, right? I need to figure this out. I think this person need, wanted to know if you loved them and that's why they played that game. Taurus, okay. But yeah, it's old school rules here. You're not going for it. Yeah, present power. This person needs to come in and take control. They lost control because they played a little game trying to figure out, I think, if you loved them. And I think this person, and I feel like in turn, you felt this person was just looking for attention, right? And you weren't giving it to them. They want to know who you're giving your attention to because I think this person's like... <laughs> literally my the way i see this they're going crackers here <laughs> trying to figure out why you're not chasing them so we have this transformation yeah there's something ending in a transformation so you likely ended things with this person and it's created them this is a wake-up call an awakening where they have to come in they have to get that clarity to come forward this is about faith the status quo this might be somebody who didn't do things you know didn't follow the status quo they kind of had their own way of doing things but there's two people here and this is about faith tradition belief behavior uh, morals uh, learning okay going off on the same path getting on the same page so it's definitely one person you've got some hope with here but i'm telling you to be strong and brave yeah you want someone who commits see somebody here is going through something they know they need to commit and that's what you want is you want someone who commits and if you feel like somebody won't commit you're not going for it so that's why it says to take your time to get to know what someone's intentions are before you offer up those cups of love because you have a few people whether you're aware of it or not there may be a crush if you have kids or if you live in a neighborhood maybe it's grandchildren or it's somebody who does sweet things or says sweet little things it's simple little things that you might not even recognize this person may be wanting to approach you but this other person has very strong energy <laughs> they could be in your neighborhood your community uh, definitely as well you may travel in the same social circle or hang out in the same places and it even could be work related for some of you so there's your commitment person someone's ready to commit they know that they need to but you probably won't have faith so take that time to look at it from every angle make sure they approach you in the right way make sure everything is illuminated taurus because i feel like this is one of these situations where if you really do things in the right way love yourself first no matter what i feel like you're going to get what you want be strong and be brave take care bye for now